Right? We got to make sure we always on the same page when it comes to goals and expectations. Okay. All right, let's start with the where. If you had your choice to play for any NBA team, who would it be? Hey. The Celtics are 69. Crazy how the world works. I'm going to go ahead and tell him the Pelicans. That's my team. Yeah, that's the one, baby. You know it. <laughs> yeah, man. I figured you might say that. But, you know, as your agent, I can't be assuming yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. This will help me, though, when I'm behind the scenes working on stuff. Okay, okay. So, what is the one thing that's most important to you in your NBA career? Win. Yeah, man. What's up? We done? Yeah, man. We're done. I lined up a few interviews with some teams that were really showing interest in you, all right? But before they talk to you in person, they want to get a feel of what your personality's like, because that's what that personality test is for. All right, so let's take care of that, and then we can head out. Let's do it. All right. All right, Beth. Do you feel like the ball should be in your hands? Oh, yeah. Whoa, they're bugging. Um... Depending on the team, I'm going to say yes. Do I feel like it's your response? Yes. Which of the following is more important to you as a basketball player? Scoring, de I'm going to say defense. Do you prefer for players to call plays from the floor or look at the coach for help? Players call plays. No. Coach, uh... Hey, this is... Hold on. I'm going to say... I'm going to say, because sometimes the coach don't really, like, the players is playing. They, they know what, what the tendencies is. And, you know, they're getting a feel of the game. I'm going to say, let the coach show. Because coach going to want that. Are you comfortable adapting your role to whoever's best? Yes. Portland Trailblazers. All right. Dame, CJ. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to answer these as hey, truthfully as possible. I'm the director of player personnel for the Trailblazers. We have the 10th pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. I bet. This question is a tough one to ask as there really isn't a right or wrong answer. Over the last couple years, we've had entire seasons washed out by insurmountable injuries. As a franchise, we're becoming more conscious on injury histories and what that means for our draft picks. What can you tell us about your injury history and, more importantly, your ability to play through pain? Um, what? No, 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 I'm not going to say I've never had a real injury because I'm going to jinx it. What do I? Now, me, I'm not going to play through no insurmountable pain. I'm cautious about injuries. Mm, there really isn't a whole lot to tell, but I can say that I've taken every precaution with the injuries that I have suffered. My career is way too important for me to just play on every injury I've ever gotten. I don't see that as being overprotective, being smart about my body. I have a responsibility, not just to my team, but also to myself. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. That's a fact. Aside from a few veterans, this is a very young team. We are bringing in a lot of young talent this offseason, and it won't be easy to get this team back into the playoffs immediately. Are you willing to take your lumps as a team in order to grow as a core along with all the other young talent the Blazers have? Are you willing to take your lumps as a team in order to grow? Yeah, we'll grow together. Yeah, I mean, I would like to think that I have the mental fortitude to help this team grow as a unit. You don't see teams we'll as young as the Blazers get to the top. I mean, you look in hindsight, you know, you look at the teams now in 2022. Though, you know, this team that's growing together, the Thunder, the Rockets. And I'd love to help bring Portland They're gonna to the top of the league. I got no problem being a part okay, of it. Thanks. We'll be in touch if we have any other questions. The Sixers. Before the process. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the scouting director for the Philadelphia 76ers. We're looking for someone with the 11th pick who can help our franchise. Hey, Norlene's Noel is in Philly. That's my boy. I'd just like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, 
We still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? You just said I could be the franchise. I'm patient. Nah, I'm not going to say I'm patient. Let's... Yes, but with a caveat. If the direction of the team keeps changing towards becoming a contending team, I'll be happy being a part of the rebuilding process. If I start to feel like decisions are being made because of money instead of talent, chances are I'm going to start becoming unhappy real fast. All right, then. One more. Uh, I didn't like that it answer. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out on the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly yeah. are the best fans in basketball. Yeah. They expect nothing less we than the best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Yeah, I do. Who fans love me? Uh, I can really get behind a fan base that wants to win and will do anything to get it. We're very similar in that regard. I've always given 100% of myself to the game. It's not all about me. When I put on a jersey, I have a responsibility to not only myself, but also to my teammates and the fans of that team. I think Philly fans and I are on the same level. I think it'd be a mutual love. Great answers. I really think you'd fit in great with us. We're just hoping we're able to draft right. with our Hey, I rock with Philly. I don't have no preference. Oh, whoa, I only got two interviews? Philly, so I'm like going 10 serious. or 11. Yeah, I have no man, preference. I'm you didn't wherever come I go. To hang out like we used to back in the day. Yeah, not entirely, man. I mean, hey, I'll teach you a little lesson in some NBA 2K later. <laughs> you know, again. <laughs> Whatever, young. Yeah, we definitely gonna have to get a game in, but hey, let's get that business out of the way first, all right? All right, man, look. I know that you've been asked to do a lot to get ready for this draft. Heck yeah. I mean, besides the showcase, you got workouts and camps and interviews, and you handling it all like a champ, man. It's just one last piece we gotta sort out. What? Ah, come on. What is it, another private workout or something? With the Cavs? Nah, 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 Wizards? nah, nah. We, we done with workouts, Rockets, man. It's maybe? nothing like that. Hey, look. We gotta get you a suit. <laughs> a hey. suit? Yeah. Alright, I can live with that, man. No way. Good, because you know Y'all gonna call me shicey for what I'm gonna say. Everybody's gonna be watching you, so you gotta make a splash. Ooh. Alright, you seen our players in the past went all out. Yeah. Man. Noah? Yo, Harden? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo. Man, no one's forgetting that anytime. Matthew soon. probably forgot But hey, that. I can handle it. You know I look fly in whatever I wear, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's up for debate. I got two words for you. Junior prom. What? Yo, I was styling oh, back then. Yeah, right. Styling. <laughs> Come on, son. Oh my Yo, God. I feel you, though. So what's up? What we got to do? Hey, man, look, don't even worry about it. I'm going to front you some cash so you can get something that works. All right. But if you can, you should consider kicking in a little extra just to make sure you really stand out. But that's on you, though. All right, I'm going to think about that. But hey, let's really get out of business. All right. NBA 2K, baby. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I'm going to whoop you, son. Uh, yeah, right. That'll be the first. <laughs> Don't be cheating, either. All right, let's go. It's draft time. Let's turn up. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't get the sixth pick worthy. Philadelphia or Portland? I have no preference. Um, I would say the situation. I mean, Orleans Noel is a bucket. I would love to play with my boy Orleans. Um, I kind of forgot the rosters Just at these times, but I know Marcus Aldridge is, is a is a yeah, Blazer, and Orleans Noel is a is a Sixer. So. Hey man, look, I talk to everybody I can. Everybody agrees you're a lock for the first round, all right? It's gonna be one of those moments you remember forever, all right? So just relax, man. Enjoy it. Yo, it's just that. Talk to me. It's just I'm not find out which team I start my NBA career with, man. I'm about to find out what city I spend the next few years of my life in. It's kind of surreal. You feel me? Hmm. Look, man. It's all a part of the ride, all right? Just relax. Hey, here comes the commissioner now, getting ready to get things started. 
Good evening. With the sixth pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans. Yes, yes, the New, New Orleans, Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans select Nerlens Noel from the University of Kentucky. My boy. Hey, I'm tired and get picked there, but it's cool. With the tripping. seventh pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Ben McLemore from the University of Kansas. With the eighth pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Kentavious Caldwell Pope from the University of Georgia. With the ninth pick in the 2013 KCP. NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Trey Burke from the University of Georgia. All right, time to sit up. See where I'm going. Ah, oh, man, still nothing. I really thought they, they didn't talk to you the whole draft process. No, nah, man, they always looked like they were going in a different direction, man. Hey, your time's coming, man. Be patient. They didn't say nothing the whole draft process. With the 10th pick in the 2013 NBA draft, Let's see. the Portland Trailblazers select CJ McCollum from Lehigh University. All right, uh, it looks like I'm about to be a sixer with my boy Noel. Hey, I ain't complaining. With playing. the 11th pick in the 2013 NBA I draft, playing. the Philadelphia 76ers select Michael Carter Williams from Syracuse University. Whoa. With the twelfth pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Stephen Adams. Oh my stock oh, I'm dropping. New Zealand and the University of Pittsburgh. My head, my mind set on two Who Dallas got? With the thirteenth pick in the 2013 NBA draft. The Dallas Mavericks select Jackson Ellis from oh. UCLA. I'm better than him. His overall is better. I I had way better than that. I was at double his points. I had quadruple his assists. Oh uh, no! Seriously, man. Uh, I can't believe they picked Jackson over me, man. Hey, man, look. Don't you even give it a second thought. I he played well in the showcase. You knew he had to go sometime. Hey, but hey, he did not play better in the showcase. When it's all said and done, what are we doing here, better. man? Or do why that dude's never gonna let me live this down? <laughs> yeah, man. I feel you. My stock that. is dropping. I right, listen up. I have a feeling we're getting close. Yeah. I don't even know what team I'm going to now. This is crazy. I guess it's a toss up. Hey, I'm, I'm I ain't got no place I don't want to be in the 2013 NBA draft. The Utah Jazz select the small forward from Niagara University. Utah. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. What I tell you, dog. Woo! First uh, round, boy. Well, you got the first round, baby. This is your moment. I went hey, one don't get that lit. After Jackson. <laughs> My man. You did it. Yeah. Unbelievable. All right, Utah. Yeah, I got me. Now look at my stats was way better. Unbelievable. Hey man, I went to 14th though. Giannis is about to go to pick after me. So hey. We might be the, the best 14, 15 slots ever, man. Possibility. Now hey, I don't know nobody on this Jazz roster. So we're gonna look at when the cussing's done, we're gonna go ahead, we will look at the roster. Pull around a little bit and then we'll end this video, man. Hey, I've recorded to three you, videos today. Three. And let me say how excited we are to have you a part of this organization. We had our eyes on you before the rookie showcase. And Why we didn't we When you were still available at our fair. <laughs> Glad to see you. Can't wait to get started. Great. Yeah, we'll get to that. But uh, we have a contract to sign. I think we're all in agreement. Yeah, good to go. Well, here's the official paperwork for you to sign. And while you do that, I had to meet <laughs> Welcome to the video for you. Welcome to the Utah Jazz. Known as the Crossroads of the West, Salt Lake City, Utah is named after the Great Salt Lake, the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. The Utah Jazz have been one of the most successful franchises in the league, 
rarely missing the playoffs. Jazz legends Carl Malone and John Stockton. Hey, no disrespect. Say you were the most winning in, or successful franchise. Hey, 25 playoff appearances is crazy, but teammates at Dang. Trey Burke. They just couldn't get over it. Hey, I'm playing my boy Trey. Oh, no, that's not my boy. Drop my control. Woo, he just made me mad. A player who can do all the little things out on the perimeter that help a team win. A now Burke was a bucket though at this time. He still is a bucket. At small forward. Uh oh many players are as solid and dependable as he is. I'm a small four. This is prime Gordon Hey, to the final whistle. We'll see how that works. The power forward position. Hey, Derek Favors is whoa, Derek Favors is nice too. Hold on. Skill. A terrific post defender who swats shots in bunches. And in the middle. And, and his canter was nice. And his freedom. Dirty work. And this world peace, whatever you want to call it. Controlling the paint for your team. He was nice too. Hey, the team is solid, but where am I going to fit in the starting lineup? Burke's spot might get snatched. Small taste of what we have in store for you. I don't think they're going to bench Hayward. Word. Just point me in the direction. Let's do this thing. And I know the coaching staff is just as fired up to start training with you. In fact, they're waiting for you in the film room, so you better head over there now. All right, thanks, man. Looking forward to helping this team get some W's. Absolutely, and once again. Welcome to the team. Thanks. All right, man. Utah Jazz. I didn't interview with them. I didn't even think about them. I ain't mad, though, man. We're going we're gonna to check out the roster. Look at it a little bit, and we'll go ahead and end this video, man. It's right now at 1,000 VC. The three balls cost a lot to upgrade. I, ain't lie. I think I'm going to be at the free throw line a lot, so I might upgrade that. No, we're going to upgrade in the next video. We're going to upgrade in the next video. Social media. Don't really care. Money. Bro, my fault. I keep pressing the pause button. I keep forgetting. My fault. All right. So. Milestones. I don't care about. How do I look at the. Okay. Trey Burke. Alex Burks is 71. Trey Burke's a rookie. You got Gordon Harris a 74. Ooh. Was I gassing this roster up? Oh, wow. We're buns. Okay, well, Hayward's spot is... We still got Richard Jefferson, Marvin Williams. Oh, we. Gobert is a 52. Goodness. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hayward, they, they drafted me, though, so... Nothing, nothing I can do there. Uh, whew. This is a crazy roster right here, man. I'm going to look at Philly and, and, and Portland. That young. Oh, well. Oh, my me and Oh. Hey, I said I didn't have a preference of a team, but, man. Sting, LaMarcus, and me. It says I outplayed him. He got drafted before me. It's crazy, man. But look. Next video. It's going to be our first NBA game, man. We're going to upgrade our players. We're going to get into the game. Thank you guys for showing support. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. I've recorded three. I've just been recording for like three hours, bro. Two hours. I just gave y'all a full game. All the cutscenes, all that. Hopefully, man, you guys enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, man. You know, I'm gonna keep playing this. You know, drop some other videos here and there. But thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna catch y'all next video, man. Peace.